Hi everyone, I just filmed this video and I still have um, quite a bit of time to myself and as I was filming this video I was deciding whether to use the Platinum Carbon Ink fountain pen or the Sailor Feud de Manin and I used this one. So for this video I actually want, you know how I like to have two pages that kind of correlate and look good together. Um, I don't like when things clash, so for example if I had some random flowers or a different style here, um, that wouldn't look good to me. So um, for that reason I want to use the other pen, the other fountain pen for this. And now this has the Waterman ink, I will leave the links as always below. And that ink is... Um, water soluble whereas the carbon ink is completely waterproof so the look is going to be very different because i will use water to then um kind of make the ink uh, flow in certain places and also the fact that this is a feud fountain pen you can see the nib is bent so that means i can get different width um of the line in in one pen so that will actually make my um illustration slightly more difficult because um the continuous line drawing is not easy if you are new to it and then also having to think about in which places i want to tilt the fountain pen as i go uh, makes it a bit more complicated so okay let's start so i'm going to for the face i always like to have a thin line so i'm just going to draw in a thin line and then i'll probably go in and i'll stop here and i'll switch to the thicker line and how i'm doing it is by moving the pen so then I'm just going to give her the chalker and then the ear and from the ear I'll probably give her a bit of a mouth oh gosh this isn't a pretty mouth so I'll try to correct this a little bit yeah having the one line situation is just not easy at all and then we're going to go in. I'm going to rotate the pan like so. I'm going to be a little bit more daring this time and not worry too much where I'm creating unnecessary lines. I think that may result in a more interesting perhaps look. So then I'm going to give her a little hairdo. I quite like these short hair looks lately and let's see the other ear right here and then I'm going to go back to the eye and create an eye and a lid and back in like that that's it and then like that and then I'm also going to go in and draw so I think already it's looking kind of a little bit more interesting so where did I stop I think I stopped around here so I'm going to go back in switch it to this thicker line and oops I am cheating a little bit as I go. It's really hard, trust me, to not lift it, uh, to not lift the nib at all. So I'm going to go back on this line down the dress. And now I want to create some detail here, which I think I want to give her a nice thick belt and possibly just a few 
kind of creased up fabric and I will also partially highlight this area here okay so this is it I think now I will take my brush and what I will do is first of all I will work with the ink I'm going to get it to flow and move and this is kind of going to be our way of illustrating so I don't even need to add watercolor if I don't want to so I'm just going to use this a little so I'm going to make this side of the face darkest and it's looking pretty cool actually I think I'll just leave it like that I don't need any watercolors for this at all I'll just leave it quite monochromatic so the nose I will just thicken the line so it stands out a little bit from these other lines now do I want to create a little bit of a cheek possibly but not too much like that and then sometimes I also like to create a bit of dimension around the forehead so that it doesn't look too um, kind of left bare and here and there I'll just work on these lines and that's all that I'm going to be doing so this is it I'm contemplating what I should just a little yes I always like this look a little bit of darkness underneath the eyes let me just quickly try it and then come back okay so yeah I really love how she came out the lips are actually not bad at all when I first um, was creating the shape they looked really bad but actually unlike everything about it it's so kind of sleek um, but the extra little lines here and there just kind of look interesting and I love how the ink looks that sort of separation of that milky blue with the gray and the black is gorgeous so this is it this was so quick so fun and yeah I mean it's you should definitely try it because it is really interesting how your brain struggles to process that kind of information that you're trying to with withdraw actually so you know you just kind of going with it and it's all takes very very little time it happens really quickly and yeah so something definitely worth trying so i hope you enjoyed this uh, video and sometimes it's nice to keep things very simple and just do ink and water and it's pretty much is the same effect as watercolor so thanks for watching and see you soon